Hello students welcome to the next lecture on the optim uh, on the optimization technique today we will discuss about the minimal spanning tree algorithm myself dr gar working the school of mathematics thapar institute so this lecture is the continuation of the previous one which we have discussed like say critical path method part co scheduling problems and here so all of you you can see about my channel name dr harish gar playlist is optimization technique now what is that we will quickly recall what is a minimal spanning tree and how we can analyze that so firstly it's a part of the network analysis so what is a network it is consists of the nodes you can see all those circles are representing as my nodes and whatever these are written in the black lines is called as the my r so the set of the nodes which are linked by the r that is you can say if i represent n is my number of the nodes a is my set of the r and in this case 1 3 that is here this is my r 1 2 and so on these are my a set of the arcs and the number of the nodes also these arcs you may have some rates which can be written as a distance it can be time it can be the flow and so on this one get it can be the finite like 2 6 11 4 4 or it can be as a infinite is there as we discussed that transportation assignment problem or are also the part of the network problem like say you can transport from the one things from One, one from the two, all are the networks are there. Another thing is, if there is some direction given to you, then we will call as the directed arc. If it is flowing only in the one direction, that is, if it allow the positive in the one direction, and it means one to three, it has the. But what is a one? Three to one, it's a zero, because its direction is only one. if you consider about the path that is a distinct arc which can be joining by the two like say if i say this is my arc or the path is there and when the path is said to be cyclic if it is form a closed loop like here if you see 2 to 3 3 to 5 and since it is a 2 to 5 if you take as a 5 to 2 then its length has a negative of this then it's form a loop similarly you can see 1 to 3 then from 1 to 2 and then from the 2 to 3 they are forming a loop is there a connected network what is the meaning of the connected network is uh, that is if you take any of the two nodes which has been connected by at least of the one path that is it can never be like of here if i say this is connected this is here this is connected say this is 4 but you can see 2 to 4 is not be connected on so at least two at least one or two of the nodes are connected or in say if i say this is not there then it is not be a connected graph or connected network if you consider about the subset of this since there are the five nodes if you consider any of the three or any of the four then we call as the tree and it form always a loop on the other hand if you consider all those five elements but with the no loop are there what is the meaning of the no loop if you if you write like here then you can see this form a closed loop so it means the spanning tree the spanning tree is always that with either no loop are there. and our target is to construct this spanning tree that is consists of all those five nodes or all the nodes and the arcs are there such that the no loop will execute now what is the minimal spanning tree algorithms are there what is that so if if you have this network are there you can see how many nodes are there you can see that easily there are the six nodes and like arcs are there 1 2 1 4 1 3 and so on. and your target is to select the arc you have to select either the arc 1 2 either as the 1 5 and 1 3 or so on such that there is a path exists from the any node to the another node like here you can see if you start from the 1 can you reach at the 2 easily yes can you reach at the 5 yes you can reach as 1 to 2 then 2 to 5 can you reach at the 6 yes you can do that 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 6 and so on and there is no cycle inside it you can see that one more important property of this minimum spanning tree is if you add one more arc any of the arc then it always form the cycle like here say if i add the 1 to 5 is it form a cyclic yes you can see that 1 to 5 you can start from the 1 and return back to the 1 again on the other hand if you want to add like here is it form a loop yes you can see that 1 to 2 then 2 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 3 3 to 1 that is start from the one here you can see this is a loop so a spanning tree is always be there that is a minimum number of the arc when you add one more arc it always form a 
addition of the one more arc will form a cycle b so if this is the one more's property another is if you want to find the length of the arc so that is the you can have to count them that is a 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 this is the length of the arc now the question arises is how you can find this minimal spanning tree so we will discuss about the four to five examples so that you may easily understand so let's say you have to find the most economical route start from the one to the seven so that you can start from the one and reach at each of the node with a minimal distance that's a very simple you have to firstly construct the matrix what is the matrix is called as the incidence matrix how many nodes are there seven you have to write as a seven nodes here seven nodes here and you can write as a distance between them you can see there is no self loop that is nothing 1 to 2 what is the distance is 2 i can write as a 2 1 to 3 as of the you can see 1 to uh, 1 to 3 as a 4 1 to 4 as a 10 and nothing are there that is a direct distance is r and so once you construct here then you can start from any of the node so let's say i can start from the first node once you will start the first node you can put the star on here and delete the corresponding column if you star as a fourth then we will delete the fourth column now look at this in this row which one is a minimum value this is a second is a minimum value so the column is second so i can put as a second the distance between them is my 2 i can write here now once you will put as a second now it's a 2 now you can delete this column and put star as of this here now again you can find the minimum of the element but provided both the star that is in the first row and in the second row which one is the minimum is here that is a third thing so you can write as a third from the this is from the first from the first row you can write as a 1 2 4 now since it is a 3 you can cross out 3 put star as of the here now again look at the minimum value among the first second and the third which one is the minimum is here this is from the third so you can go from the third to the sixth column that is from here this one now six appears you can cross the sixth column star on the sixth element now find again the minimum elements from the first row second row third row and the sixth row which one is the minimum this one is here that is from the third so you can start from here and it will goes to the fourth that is from here you can write like here now once it is four you can cross the fourth put them as a star you have to continue until all becomes the star now you can find the minimum among all these star rows are there which one is the minimum this is a 9 this is a 8 so this is the minimum that is a fifth column is the minimum start from the two so you have to go from here to the fifth position are there. now fifth appear you can cross them and put mark on the fifth here find the minimum among all these six rows which one is the minimum that is of here this is due to the fifth so that is from here you have to write as a uh, minimum on the seventh column so that is of seventh are here now seventh appear you cross on this and put on here now since all the elements are star so it means the this is my minimal spanning tree and what is the length of this you can write them as a 2 plus 5 plus 6 and so on. you can check your answer that whether this is the minimal spanning tree or not what you can do is you can simply join them any of the two can you join 4 to 7 no because there is no loop here if i join them as a 4 to 5 is it form a loop yes you can see them it's a loop so it means this is a minimal spanning tree and you can join any of them are now look at the one more example it will help you to understand that so say midwest tv you can read the statement you have to find the most economical spanning tree so again rule is similar you have to draw the firstly tree how many nodes are there six you can see there is no node of the one to one that's a hyphen one to two is a distance one one to three it's a distance is my nine sorry one to three is a distance is five and so now you can start with the any of the node so let's say this time i will start with the third node so i can cross the third put star as here look about the minimum value in this row they are the two minimum so you can choose any one of them so let's say i choose the first value now i can put as here the distance is 5 cross the first value put 1 as on here 
look at the minimum value among the first row and the third row which one is the minimum is this is from the first so you can go from the first to the two that is from one to the two r now cross this second column mark star on here find the minimum among these three which one is the minimum is here this is due to the second second to the fifth column second fifth column is my here that is my this value now you can put five on the cross star on here find the minimum among all these four rows which one is the minimum is you can see this is my no, no this is not three because three is from the four and four is not a star so which one is the minimum you can see this value four so you can see this four is minimum from the two to four so that is two to four r now you can cross this four put mark on the four r here find the minimum among the first five rows this is my here this is due to the fourth to the sixth that is from here to the sixth r now again now you can mark on the sixth as a cancel out and put on here since all are my star so this is my required minimal spanning tree and the length is my 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3 you can again check that whether this is spanning tree or not if you join them as a 3 to 5 is not possible 2 to 3 that's 2 is it form a loop yes it is a form a loop it means this is a spanning tree look at the another one is there how you can find the minimal spanning tree so again you have to draw the firstly matrix o a b and so on you have to start from the any of the uh, node so let's say i start with the o i can cross this put up a star what is the minimum is a so i can put a as here with the distance 4 so i can mark a i can cross the value of a column put up here find the minimum among these two rows this is the one on the b from the a so a to b i can mark them here a to b i can cross the value of b now we can find the minimum among o a b which one is the minimum is 2 from the b to the c so i can find b to the c with the distance is my 2 is there now i can cross the c column also put star here now find the minimum among all these four rows which one is the minimum is here from the b to the e so b to e r here with the distance is 4 i can cross the e star e of here find the minimum among these five rows are there which one is the minimum you can clearly see that this one is the minimum i can put up e to the d so that is e to the d as a distance one is here i can cross the d also and similarly you can put up as here now find the minimum among them you can get as a six from the d so that is from the d to the t as a distance six is there now all the columns are cancelled out all are stars so this is my spanning tree and you can see that if you join any of them like say bd if you join them it form a loop if you join ob again it form a loop if you find oc again it form a loop it means this is the correct answer out there and the length is 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 6 is the 18 is the right answer look at the one more example out there and again your target is to find the most economical pipeline that is the spanning tree we can construct the diagram here that is this way you can start with any one of the nodes so let's say start with the this time five look at the you can cross the five and put up a star which one is the minimum value in this case that is my three that is from the six so i can mark as a six on here i can cross the six column put star on the six find the minimum among these two rows are there which one is the minimum three is cancel out minimum is my four that is one from the five so i can draw the five to the one here now i can cross the one put the minimum among them you will get as a two is the minimum cross them as a two and here find the minimum among these four values which is the minimum is there so that is my five that is from five to the seven so i can draw the five to seven is here now i can cross the seven now we can find the minimum elements among all these one two five six seven which one is the minimum that is my six is my minimum either this is six so you can take any one of them so if i take here five to the nine you can write or you can take as a two to three that's depending upon you so if you take here you can write like this way now it's a three you can cross them three 
next one minimum is my here you can write as 5 to 9p now you can write as again minimum among them which one is the minimum you can see this is nothing but my here is this one now you can see all out here now since one is pending so find the minimum among them this is my 7 from the 6 so 6 to the 4 so 6 to the 4 is up here now you can see here now you can see all are star all are cancel out so this is my minimal spanning tree and the length is my 41 you can again see that if you join any of the networks arc it form a loop arc this is the way you can compute the minimal spanning tree algorithm i hope you can simply learn about that we will see in our next class how you can find the shortest route by using the disgust algorithms till then you can simply find this channel name dr harish garg where you can find the various videos of the previous ones till then you can share this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning